three a very hard fought point there. Yeah, tough game today. I think it was tough for both teams. Um, good point in the end. Um, I think it was a deserved point. Game of two halves, very windy first half and second half for the teams, and uh, you know, yeah, it was a, a good point. Very, very little in it, I thought, which must be pleasing when you come up against the leaders. Yeah, I, to be fair, I don't think there's been much between us all four games this season. Um, yeah, and uh, expected another tight game today. So, you know, listen, I'm delighted for the boys because I think they definitely deserve to take someone out of the game. As I said, probably a game of two halves by the wind um, and probably a good point. And that's ten games unbeaten now in the league. What do you put that run down to? Um, I don't know. Um, we've probably we've freshened up the squad in January. We've brought good players in, you know, and uh, you know I think that's helped us for sure. Um, and with a bit more continuity in the team, you know, the the back four and. Up until probably last week when uh, Thomas got injured, we've had continuity, things like that. So that, that's really important that we can that we have that in a team, and we've had that. So you know, yeah. Listen, the boys have done great uh, the last ten games, and uh, we've got seven to go. We need to try and go and try and win as many as we can. Do you feel like confidence is building into those last seven games? Yeah, I do. Listen, um, we're going to try and win every single game. It's not easy in this league, as you can see by the results. But uh, you know, the players are determined to try and do that, and hopefully, we can finish the season really strongly. And a very tough trip away to Elgin next week. What are your thoughts going to that? Yeah, um, yeah, that'll be a tough game, like every game in the league right now. But you know, again, we're going to go and try and win the game. But for some reason, Elgin always do well up there, and uh, you know, but we're going to be able to win the game, and uh, we'll see what happens. One thing I've noticed in the past few weeks is the subs making a big impact. That was the same against the Kieran Ingles crossing. What's how pleasing is that for you as a manager? Yeah, uh, yeah. To be fair, it's, it's and that's without Thomas and Josh right this minute uh, in the squad, and obviously we were without Stewie last week. So, no, the the strength and depth of the squad is much much better. Um, we've got talented boys. The boys that have come in that we brought in have done well. Some of them haven't been up to speed. Some of our players are still needing to go up to speed. Uh, we match finish was very difficult to to get at this time of year, but. You know, when I look at the bench today, I knew you know it's good that we can actually plan games there. We were thinking like that. We can set up like that, and we know that we can bring on people to change the game and give us different dynamics later in the game. So no, it's very pleasing with the, the squad right now. Finally, a word for Adam Hutchinson. I think he's been excellent in recent weeks and getting the goal to top it off. Yeah, I'm delighted for Hutch. Uh, you know, again, he's one at the start of the season, change of job, not full time. Different environment. He he really took a wee while to get going again, but he's been absolutely magnificent recently. And uh, the last three or four games against you know, like some really good strikers, he's been outstanding. I've told him that the last three or four games, and again today he was absolutely outstanding. So I'm really pleased for him. Thank you very much, Ray. Well done. Cheers, guys.